Hey everyone, so today I am doing the Netflix tag which was created by a darker shade of Whitney. This tag has been going around for a while so I decided I wanted to do it. I watch a lot of Netflix and I love reading so it's great that this tag combines those two things. Let's go ahead and just get started. Number one is recently watched the last book you finished reading. I just finished this book today and that is The Satanic Mechanic by Sally. Lee Andrew. This is the second book in the Tani Maria mystery series. It's an adult mystery series and um, even though this is the sequel you don't have to read them in order. I didn't read the first book but this book definitely lets you know what happened in the first book but um, it's not essential to read the first book. Each book is very much its own story. So yeah, I recently read this book and I will have a review of it coming soon. Number two is Top Picks, a book or books that have been recommended to you based on a book that you've previously read. I'm going to have to go with Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. Everyone tells me to read these books because I loved the original three in the Grisha trilogy, um, Shadow and Bone. I loved those three books by Lee Bardugo so, so much. I, of course, do really, really want to read this duology, this spinoff duology. Just haven't picked them up yet, but I will pick them up definitely within the near future because so many people have told me to read them and I've just seen such great reviews on these books. I really do want to pick those up. Recently added the last book you bought. So my last book purchase was actually a big box of books from Book Outlet and I showed all of those books in a recent book haul if you want to go see. But I just picked out one of of those books to show you one of the ones I'm most excited about that is a study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero this book's about Sherlock Holmes is like great 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 granddaughter and she teams up with this other person to solve a murder mystery and I love Sherlock Holmes I'm in the process of watching the Sherlock TV show I'm thrilled that I have this book I can't wait to read it and the sequel the last of August was released this past February so I definitely need to get on it number four a popular on Netflix books that everyone knows about so she said to pick two that you have read and two that you have not read so books that everyone knows about um first one I'm gonna say that I have read is Game of Thrones read the first book not the whole series the goal is to read the whole series and watch the tv show but i read the first book and seen the first season of the tv show um second one would i guess be harry potter read all the harry potter books seen all the movies so those are two that i've read that everyone knows about for two that I haven't read I'm gonna go with the Percy Jackson series I actually did read the first book years and years ago but I would honestly need to reread it before I continued on with that series I hardly remember anything that happened there's also a lot of classics I haven't read um, I just saw a little advertisement on Goodreads for Ready Player One haven't read it but I really want to haven't read Catch in the Rye haven't read Pride and Prejudice well I started Pride and Prejudice got to page 72 exactly and couldn't read it anymore I didn't like it but that was in high school maybe my, my tastes have changed when it comes to reading since then so I might pick it up again someday number five is comedy so a funny book um, I don't really read a lot of comedy books um, I do read contemporary but it's usually more heavier darker contemporary or romance it doesn't really have a lot of comedy in it um i was looking through all my read books on goodreads trying to find one that made me laugh and i was like wow this is kind of sad <laughs> i haven't read that many um but i came across the martian by andy weir and the main character of that book is hilarious i remember actually laughing out loud at that book so even though that's not your typical contemporary or non-fiction comedy um that book made me laugh. <laughs> Number six is drama, a character who is a drama queen or king. I'm going to go with The Takedown by Corey Wang. This book is filled with drama. So much goes down in this book, but it's really um, interesting and intriguing mystery. It's about a group of girls that are in high school, and it's set kind of in the future with advanced technology. And so I would say this whole group of girls are drama queens. I would say actually the main character is not as much of a drama queen as some of her other friends, but they all kind of fall into the drama. Number seven is Animated, a book with cartoons on the cover. I just recently got Vicious off a of book outlet and this is an animated drawn cover and it's so beautiful 
I love all the details in the background with the buildings. It's very, very pretty. Number eight, watch it again. A book or book series that you want to reread. This is kind of hard because I'm really not drawn to rereading books. I've never reread a book before. So like I mentioned earlier, I might would want to reread re Percy Jackson to read the series, but that's mostly the reason I think about rereading books is because I want to continue on the series but don't remember everything that happened but as far as just wanting to re-experience a book I would say Harry Potter but probably not for a while um, but a more original answer I want to go with Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetys. This book was just so emotional and beautiful and I just love it so much. It's one of my favorite books so yeah I would reread that one. Number nine is Documentary. A nonfiction book you'd recommend to everyone. This is so easy. When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. This book is just mind-blowing it's just oh my gosh i can't like this is one of those books i just can't really put into words it's just amazing it's wonderful i love it so much um it is a heavier topic though it's about paul himself and he is a surgeon a neurosurgeon it's his story of how he got into neurosurgery and his life and everything in his 30s he gets diagnosed with lung cancer so then it's about his life just completely turning upside down and him being a doctor but suffering from cancer and it's sad I'm not gonna lie to you it's really sad but the writing is just outstanding to where it is kind of uplifting there's so many important messages and it just wonder what wonderful wonderful thoughts this is a book I would also want to reread as well but I didn't want to use it for two answers but I'll definitely be rereading this book it just kind of spoke to me and I loved it. So I would recommend everyone reading it unless you think you would personally, you know, have a lot of trouble reading about someone with cancer and dealing with death and that kind of thing, which is totally understandable. But yeah, especially people that are in like the medical field in any shape or form, I think this is a very important story. Number 10, action and adventure, an action-packed book. I'm actually going to go with um, the book series that I'm about to get back into the first book the murder complex by lindsay cummings read this book a few years ago definitely action-packed edge of your seat kind of book really dark pretty gory i mean it's about murder uh and it's like set in this dystopian world where things are pretty rough the murder rate is exceptionally high and there's a reason behind it so the whole book is kind of figuring out what all of that is about so i actually never continued on with the series it's just a duology other books got in the way but recently I talked about series that I haven't finished yet and this was one that I did want to finish and I went ahead and bought the sequel The Death Code so I'm actually about to start this book I am reading the novella The Fear Trials just to kind of get me back into the series and I like reading novellas I know they're not for everyone and they're not always essential but I kind of like them so I'm going to hopefully read that tonight and I'm going to start The Death Code within the next few days and finish off this crazy duology. Number 11, new releases. A book that just came out or will be coming out soon that you just can't wait to read. I have to go with Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he's coming out with another book finally. It comes out October 10th which is still a little over two months away. But I've already pre-ordered the signed edition off of Amazon and I am dying for it. Love John Green. I've read all of his books. And I don't know. Something about his writing just speaks to me. All of his books didn't blow me away. Um, I didn't absolutely fall in love with all of his books. But I do love his writing in all of his books. There's just something about every single book of his that I can pick out that I really, really enjoyed. And something I loved about it. The Fault in Our Stars is my favorite but I'm so excited for this book. I just skimmed the summary just to kind of get an idea because the title is so weird. Um, and I still don't totally know what it's about, but I am totally fine with that. I am going to read it as soon as it comes out. I don't want to be influenced by hype or other people's opinions, which I'm already hyping it up to myself because he's like my favorite author. So but I'm just going to try not to build myself up too much because I don't want to be disappointed. Not that I think he's going to disappoint me, but you know, I, I want to go into it with with an open mind and an open heart and just let it take me where it goes so um the next question is to tag people but a lot of people have done this tag it's like two years old so i'm not going to tag anyone specifically but if you want to do it please feel free to 
Let me know your answers to the questions below. If you agree with any of my answers or have read any of the books I mentioned, I would love to hear your thoughts. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.